Hey guys, it's Mark Rodriguez. This is Jenny Rodriguez. And Paige. And this is Mark, Johnny, and Paige at the at movies. movies. And they're going to talk about yeah. Now You See Me, this epic movie. It's um, a lot of great actors in the movie. We got um, that old guy that was Alfred in the Dark Knight. Um, the old guy. <laughs> the old guy from That's Batman. That's the other actor. The That's old guy. guy. The old black the old guy. guy. Yeah, we got Morgan Freeman. It's in the, I know, I know it's like, his no, name. No, Old black guy, old black guy from Dark Knight. The okay. French lady from the, who knows where. The green guy from Avengers. Okay, yeah. The French lady, have... we don't know where she's from. Okay, <laughs> yes, but we do have uh, Mark Ruffalo, I know his name. That was the Hulk from the Avengers in the green movie guy. as well. Yes, okay. Green so, man. I guess, um, I guess the basic plot is about these magicians. There are different guys, these four of them. And they do different things, like one of them is a hypnotist, another one does like card games, whatever. And they all got like together and they're doing these live shows in which they actually rob banks and do other big things. And of course like the FBI is after them and, and Morgan Freeman's characters like this guy who's out to expose them. And so it gets, it gets you know, cool and epic and complicated. So what do you guys think of the, the movie? Well, what I think about the movie is that the movie's pretty awesome. It has good special effects. Well, of course, because it's a magic movie. Poof. It means it's magic. Oh. It's magic, magic. Okay. But oh. seriously, um, what I like about the movie is that... Um, oh, I kind of speech this out. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, it's a speech, right? It's a good movie. It's a good movie. What's the movie? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. I'm just buy the tickets. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Paige, what do you think of the movie? I like the movie. Heard bad things about it from some people. You won't mention their names, but I think you <laughs> yeah, all know yeah, what we're we've talking heard, about. We've heard lots of bad reviews about the movie. It was, it was but when I first saw like, the trailer, I was like, oh my gosh, it's magic. Right? Like, those kind of movies, I guess. Um, I thought that was interesting, like the twist and turn, like all the magic tricks and the, and all the excitement, exciting stuff, and I would recommend it. I don't know why people, the one person said there's plot holes that like weren't revealed. I don't know what the plot holes were. Please tell me what they were. That yes, that's, that is Since, one thing. Because like, I think everything was like kind of revealed at the end. Yeah, it was more the Freeman. twist. Yeah, Morgan Freeman did a good job of revealing like all the Yeah, tricks like trying to like for the audience and to reveal to the, the green guy. <laughs> oh, okay, but what I, like about, what I like about the movie, or you know, like the cast of characters, you know, the the magicians, you know, um, they all have their personality, they all have their wits, um, they all have their charisma, and I just kind of like how they kind of get those characters together. And they're such assholes. I like how the hypnotist guy at the end of the movie, like, hypnotized this um, like I guess the wife or something and you can text the husband to reveal that she on her with her own sister and it's like oh, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you want me to to erase her memory again that that's like give me some money and <laughs> you took me about $250 or well, something off of them so it's like yeah the, the one magician the leader magician mm -hmm. that I don't know his name Mark I think it's his name that's a thing the guy characters. that played like the um the leader guy, the control freak. No, the guy that. Well, I'm just trying to say the actor, the actor that played um, Columbus in Zombie Land, um, Mark and, from The Social Network. I don't um, look familiar. Yeah, he did Social the Network the Zombie Land. The guy? The yeah, guy the, the guy Daniel, the guy that played Daniel, the famous one. And then you say the bald guy was also in some other movie. I think he was. He's been in I think that guy movies. was Tallahassee. From Zombieland. He's been in a lot of movies, whoever and then, the bald guy actress. Yeah. Yeah. Woody? Woody? Yeah. We're bringing uh, that I thought it kind of funny how we had Morgan Freeman and um, the old guy that was Alfred in the same oh, movie. God. And it's weird seeing the guy playing Alfred playing like... Like there's some scenes where he's very serious and he's like delivering these threats with this serious look on his face. It looks weird seeing the guy playing Alfred do that. And then of course it's weird seeing two characters from the Batman movie and the same movie with the guy that was the Hulk from the Avengers movie. And of course he did a very good job too. It was funny seeing him get pissed off and frustrated because they keep, I don't know, they keep kind of thinking don't piss him off too much or, you know, and stuff like that. So anyways guys, um, any final thoughts just to wrap things up? And maybe like magic. 
I think I think it's pretty Vegas. good. I think it was, oh, oh yeah, that's another thing. Vegas. That's another thing. That's oh, cool. Oh. It took place in Vegas, and there were actual places that we've well, been to. And, and they were they were down in New Orleans, that Cafe du Monde. That's how I don't know. Is that, yeah, that, we were I there think too. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's famous. If you ever go to New Orleans, go there and get a French uh, the ba- baguette. Get a not a baguette, a beignet. It's called yeah. a beignet. It's yeah. really good. So it's this cool. place is famous for it. They like cover it, like seriously cover it with powdered sugar. It's so delicious. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. It was a blast for us to to see the same Vegas streets we we walked through, the same New Orleans cafe we went to. And then to. of course, it was ever so popular New York with their um, Times Square, you know. Well, yeah, but we've never been there personally. But, but it's a place a lot of people have been through yeah. or have seen a lot on TV, like in our case. So yeah, it's it's another of those super mega popular spots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically, the, uh, I think we're pouring the audience. Yeah. So basically speaking, guys, I I think it's a good movie. Uh, like I said, I've heard lots of good and bad things about it. I heard people saying like, why is Morgan Freeman in such a bad movie and stuff like that. I don't know. I like the movie. It was pretty cool. I didn't really see that many plot holes. Maybe because the final twist at the end, I was kind of questioning a couple of things. But like like Paige said, any plot holes, anything, any problems you have the movie, like put them down here, discuss Please what, comment what why, you thought about the movie. Comment why, why do you think the movie is bad? Yeah, and we yeah, might start eliminating. Yeah, and we'll and we'll be glad to discuss them with you and see what's up. So, anyways, guys, that's the end of this episode of Mark, Paige, and John at Mark the movies. Lemonade. Yes, boozing it up and promoting and everything. So. Yeah, we'll see you guys at the movies.